Welcome back, this is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I am going to show you how to install MariaDB 11.4 on operating system Windows operating system that is 10. It should work on 7, 8, 8.1, 10 and 11. You can choose the specific version of MariaDB 11.6, 5, 4. I am going to download and install the latest as stable release at this moment. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like button if you're watching the video and to download and install MariaDB and also set to the system variable path. Uh, keep watching this video to download MariaDB. Open your web browser tab and go to MariaDB.org. Click the download button. That's the first step. And here we have, you can see MariaDB server, MariaDB server 11.5.2, which is being rolled out. Uh, and then we have selected Windows operating system 64 bit, that's basically good architecture. Mix of both world, and then we are going to download the MSI package which just requires and you can obviously select the mirror where it's going to be downloaded from and then click download button so you can see the download starts in no seconds like no time and you can read about MariaDB on this page but it is more like my sequel you also get a different flavors of SQL like MariaDB, MySQL when you install MariaDB. So wait for this to be downloaded. It's going to take no time here. So what we will do, first we will download and install MariaDB and then set this to the system's variable path so that you will be able to access MariaDB from uh, command prompt windows terminal so once the download is done you right click and just go open or locate in the, or locate in the downloads folder double click at the msi package of MariaDB and let it run then hit next Make sure you accept the license agreement and then say next, next. Uh, you definitely want to add a password to your root database username. I can show you this is the database username root and this is the password that you're going to enter. Will be required whenever you try to access MariaDB. Now go ahead and this is where it is going to be. Uh, located installed okay I just modified it to MariaDB 11 and hit next install as a service so it will be keep running on your system all the time as soon as you install uh, start your system okay so this is going to be more like MySQL on Linux okay here we go so we're just waiting for the installation to begin and the installer has already detected that my system is 64 bit so it is installing 64 bit on my system please wait while setup wizard installs MariaDB hit yes if you get a prompt of a window on your operating system uh, copying new files and this shouldn't take any long here we go so you can notice it's basically adding a lot of things here so hate hey, SQL MariaDB MySQL client MariaDB it's done now I can go ahead and finish and if you go ahead and try to access MariaDB 
from here from command room it's not recognized so if you're getting MariaDB is not recognized as an external or external command operable program or batch file you basically need to add this MariaDB bins bins folder to variables path so go to this PC wherever your MariaDB is installed in my case C drive program files and just locate MariaDB this is the older release so you can see the date okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this one this is where the data is okay but the actual MariaDB is going to be located in here so bin folder and you can see this is MariaDB so that is executable as soon as you add this to variables path so just go to menu and type variable look let me just do it a lot of people don't understand it so what I'm going to do, what I'm doing I'm adding this MariaDB to variables path to add MariaDB to variables path system variables go to menu hit the menu button on your keyboard type variable search for variable edit system environment variable locate it open it under system variable go to uh, select this path edit and make sure it is added so you can see this was the previous released I'm going to add a new which is basically 11.5 hit ok 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 and just to make sure it is still not working so that means we need to just restart our command prompt and let's see if it is available no it is not so maria db you are giving the root that's a uh, username it is asking for password so my password is password and you can see all right so it is working and that's great you see now i can interact with mariadb database to exit you simply press ctrl c and if you do not want to access like this you can go ahead and click on the start menu this is mariadb command prompt so you will just setting environment for MariaDB 11 you can launch from there you can also uh, use the MariaDB just enter the password this is MySQL and it still says MariaDB so you're basically using MariaDB everywhere and that's coming from bin folder you can also use head SQL which basically is a GUI so go ahead and you can create a database here and this is going to be server name library SSL statistics password for credential so you can start using this database we haven't selected any database so we will have to create one so this also gives you GUI to add. go ahead and interact with your databases once you have created so this is how you can download and install MariaDB on your Windows operating system and add MariaDB to systems variable environment variable path access it thank you for watching bye for now